In today's video, I will show you how you can create this map traveling effect like they used in the Indiana Jones movies. First, drag in your map and put it on the second video layer. Then put your background behind it. I will change the color. And in my case, I'm going to put a video of a plane under it. To make it visible, we have to reduce the opacity of the solid color like this. Okay, next I will uh, zoom in into the map a little bit so we have place to move and then we are going to open the fusion tab. Press shift space and add a polygon. Disconnect it from the media end and connect it to a background node. Then we connect a background node to the media end. And click on the polygon node, start drawing your travel route, for example, something like this, and just the border width. Then click onto the background node and change the color. I want mine to be red. Then, with the polygon node selected, go to the beginning of the clip and press on the little square to animate the length and take it all the way down to zero. Then, you can go forwards in the clip, select a time where your root should be fully visible, then drag the length slider all the way up. Okay, now we can go back into the editor and you see the destination is cut off. So what I'm going to do is go to the beginning, adjust the position like I want it to be, and go to the end and adjust the position again. So if you play back, your root will be followed. And what I like to add is a transition to the next scene. So we go to the end of the route and cut it off. Then we can put our next scene behind it. I like it when the map zooms in at the end. So we go to the last frame, zoom in and position our destination right at the center. Then I will move back some frames and change the zoom to the same amount as we have in the beginning. So now the camera follows the route and at the end it will zoom in. And to make it even smoother, we'll go to Effects and drag in an adjustment clip. We can shorten it. I will let it overlap a little bit over the new clip. Then we create some fade out and fade in. Then we click on Open Effects and take the zoom blur and drag it over the adjustment clip. And if we play the video back now, it looks much smoother. And that's it. I hope you liked it and have fun with this effect on your next project.